So 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 Listen, y'all, today I will be baking a pineapple pound cake because I want something so sweet. I haven't had anything sweet lately, but that French toast, uh-huh. And uh, But I, I, I need something like a, a cake or whatever, and uh, I'm going to bake a, pound, a pineapple pound cake. And y'all, listen, I lost five pounds. I don't know how I did it, but uh, I lost five pounds. I won't tell y'all how many pounds I weigh, but I'm going to tell you, I lost five pounds. And look, today is the first day of fall. And uh, when it gets cold, I like to eat. I really like to eat. But I'm going to try to step back from that eating so much and uh, try to lose me some more weight. For the winter time so when the summertime come all over again i'll be summertime fine yeah listen y'all let me tell you what you'll need for this pineapple pound cake okay i'm gonna bring it down here and i'm gonna show you what i need what you need what you need And you will need three cups of sugar. And you're going to whip this up for about maybe 10 to 12 minutes. And you want to whip it up really, really good so that you're not filling the grain of the sugar in on it. So... Whip it up for about 12 minutes, okay? And I'm going to whip this up, but I'm going to go away. But I'll be back. And now remember, you want to pull the butter and the sugar around down on the sides, okay? Make sure you keep pulling that down. Okay, after 12 minutes, the butter and the sugar is really, really fluffy. And now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of pineapple flavor. And I'm going to whip it up just a little bit more. Oh, and that pineapple smells so good. And now I'm going to add five eggs, one egg at a time. And make sure your eggs are room temperature. And your butter also. Make sure that that, that is room temperature.
Okay, I'm gonna pull it down around the sides. And I'm gonna beat it up for about maybe, mm, about 25 more seconds. I'm going to add three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, not the soda, but the powder, and a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mix it in the flour. And then I'm going to add flour and milk alternating both okay a little flour and then next next milk now if you don't have milk you can put buttermilk normally i use buttermilk in my cakes because it makes it it makes the cake fluffier but i'm gonna add milk and you don't want to beat the flour up in there too much you know you want to add a little and A little flour and a little milk and you want to um, not really you know beat the flour up too much you want to start like now now I'm stopping okay because it'll make the cake tough okay Add a little bit more flour. The rest of the flour. I'm sorry. The rest of the flour. Because you want a moist cake. You don't want it tough. Next, I'm gonna add pineapple, crushed pineapple. And I'm gonna take the juice off of the pineapple because I want the juice for the um, icing. Okay, I'm going to stop it like that because the rest of it I'm going to fold in. Okay, so I'll be back after I get my uh, juice off of my pi crushed pineapple. Okay, guys, the can of crushed pineapple that I will be using is the, I think it's a 20-ounce can. 20-ounce can. That's the tall can. And I'm going to pour the pineapple, and I drain the juice off. Pour the pineapple in the cake mixture. Okay. 
Okay, let me make sure I got it all off my paddle. And I'm going to fold it in while mixing the flour up. Make sure your flour is mixed in there in the cake mixture. Okay, and fold it in. And I've got my oven on 350. And it's been on for now for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. And you can really tell this is going to be a soft, moist cake. Because the batter is so soft. Soft looking. Okay. I'm going to go away and spray my pan. And I'll be right back. And make sure you spray it really, really good. Now, back in the day, my mama used to put oil in the pan and flour. But, uh, we spraying oil. We spraying Baker's Joy now, okay? Or any kind of uh, non-stick spray. Okay, now I'm going to pour the cake in. And This is really some fluffy batter. Make sure you give, get it even, evenly around the pan. And pop it down, plop it. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in the oven for about maybe 45 minutes or until I insert a toothpick in and uh, make sure that it is uh, the toothpick. Two pick Blah, blah. The tube pick comes out dry, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're through with the cake. The cake came out. It came out perfect. Now we're getting ready to make the glaze for the cake, okay? And you will need four ounces of cream cheese you know it comes in the eight ounce ounce pack so you're gonna uh, cut it in half okay and it has got to be softened and about a third stick of butter and that's probably about two tablespoons of butter okay we're gonna mix it up well until it's combined mm -hmm. 
Okay, after it's well combined, I'm gonna put like maybe a half a teaspoon of pineapple flavor. Let's start off with a half a teaspoon. Then I'm gonna mix it up well. I'm gonna pull, pull it from down around the sides. Make sure it's all in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to start off with two cups of confectionery sugar. And I think I'm going to use about one cup first. Okay, now I'm going to add... A little pineapple juice, about a tablespoon. Okay, guys, here's the icing, and I think it's in a pourable consistency. I'm gonna. It turns out really fluffy. It's a little thick, but I'm gonna spread it on so it'll run to the edges. I should have put maybe just a little bit more pineapple juice in it, but that's okay. And it's cool, the cake is really cool. I let it sit for like five hours. So the cake is cool. Okay, I'm going to cut it, and we'll be right back. I'm going to put some more drip down it. Make it drip. Make it run off that cake. Yeah, the icing was just a little too thick. But that's all right. And I'll be right back.